Hello, my Falcons. It's Miss Sapika. It is Thursday, uh, April 2nd, and I'm here with our story for the day. Um, going along with the, the uh, series of books that we've been reading most of this week. Okay, so today we are going to be reading I Am Peace, a book of mindfulness. I Am Peace. All right, let's get to it, huh? There are times when I worry about what might happen next and what happened before. The thoughts in my head are like rushing water and I feel like a boat with no anchor. Being carried away. I give myself a moment. I take a breath. And then I tell myself, it's all right. I feel the ground beneath my feet and steady myself. And start to notice the here and the now. My thoughts begin to settle. My mind begins to clear. I am peace. new this book is. I can barely turn the pages. I can watch my worries gently pop and disappear. I let things go. I can say what I feel inside out loud. I know myself. I can share kindness with others. I make a difference. I can hug a tree and thank it for its beauty and strength. I connect to nature. I can watch the clouds make shapes against the sky. I know wonder. I can taste and smell and touch and hear and see what is all around me. I use my senses. I can feel my breath fill my whole body. I tune into me. Now the water is still. I have found my anchor and everything is all right. I don't need to worry about before or after. I am in this moment. I am peace. Now I share my peace with others and hope that it is carried away to those who need it. And I dream. We are peace. The end. I am peace. So that's our book for today. Um, I'm curious, what other ways do you guys find peace when you're worried or, you know, rushing around or just feeling adrift like our, like our, character in the story, what helps you feel anchored? What helps you feel peaceful and calm?
maybe talk about that with your family. Okay, guys, have a wonderful day. We're almost through this week. One more day. And I'll talk to you on Friday, tomorrow.